Virginia Jean with an SOS call over. This movie just totally blew me away, and your performance blew me away too. And I was just wondering, how do you do it? I mean, you're so such a good shape, and uh, it's amazing well, to watch. I'm probably in better shape before, than <laughs> but thank you for that. Um, I did it because I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to see what I could do um, as an actor. I wanted to, it was such a pure experience. The, it was really pure cinema in that there were no special effects. This was, what you did was what you were gonna see. <laughs> to be in a situation like this where nature turns you upside down, where, where nature shows its hand in such a violent way and what you do to survive it, I thought that challenge was really interesting as an actor. The question was, physically, could I do it? And I said, well, let's find out. I said to the director, because he was going to have some doubles, and I said, well, let's, yeah, if it gets too hard, but, but let's see what I can do. You know, I'll do what I can do. And as we went, I pushed myself further and further until I realized, I think I can do just about everything. It's not going to be easy, but it will make me feel good as an actor knowing that I've given a complete performance. So do you, how do you keep in such a good shape in general? Drinking. Drink no, no, alcohol. I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, well, I like. I've always liked sports, but uh, I'm not a person to go in a gym. I, I get bored in a gym, but I do like to ski. I do like to ride horses. I do like to play hard tennis. Uh, I like to hike in the mountains. I like to swim. So if you put all those things together, I think it keeps you reasonably in good shape, but not, not going into a mechanical place. I, can, I get bored there. So I read this article in the New York Times this weekend about you, and there was something that I thought was quite interesting, that you did not like the fact that people call you a sex symbol. Why? Well, I wouldn't say I didn't like it. <laughs> I'd be a little crazy not to like I just wasn't, I was surprised by it. Um, then I kind of liked it for a short while. It was just different, and I was trying to understand why. I, d I didn't want to spend time thinking about why. Um, but then, then it got to be a, a little difficult because I considered myself an actor. And I was an actor that was very concerned about craft, that you, when you play a character, you, you try to deliver a performance as that character, including subtleties. But when somebody is overlooking that and just looking at the way you look, that can wear itself out, that can wear thin. And I did begin to feel that that was getting too much attention. And that surprised me, because it, it went on too long. And it's still going on, or? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> it, this movie is also about surviving. And you survived in this in Hollywood and this career for so long. Is there yeah, that's a, a greater achievement than anything. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. How, why do you think that you're still your career is still going so strong? Are you ever gonna retire, or are you just loving? No, this? I don't. I I think retirement. I think it's a step towards death. Uh, unless you're forced to retire, I I, I think you keep going because uh, there's always something new to learn. There's always something new to do, and as long as you can. You should, and that's how I feel. Um, so retirement never comes into my mind. I think that's a dangerous, retirement can be dangerous.